Last night on KXLY4, we told you a story even we almost couldn't believe. A Deer Park man nearly electrocuted, and he swore he couldn't remember how it happened. I called the sheriff's office. Okay. They said that day that um, you admitted to them that you were climbing a power pole trying to steal wire. Okay. Um, it's possible. Like I said, I don't, I don't recollect nothing. Jeremy Embler's injuries are so extensive, a church is raising money to help his family, even though he is getting state and federal help to pay his medical bills. So, who would touch a live power line just to steal the wire to get meth? KXLY Force Tori Brunetti found out it is more common than you might think. Yeah, Robin, it is a growing problem. People look at power lines and think quick cash. Most of them are desperate for money because they can sell that copper wire for $2 a pound. There were 7,500 watts or volts or whatever that, that, that actually passed through my body. 7,500 volts of electricity most likely shot through Jeremy Embler's body while he was trying to cut a power line to steal copper wire. It's possible. Like I said, I don't, I don't recollect nothing. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office says Jeremy and his friend admitted Jeremy was trying to cut a power line when he was shocked. And Jeremy told us it's something he has done before to make a quick buck to buy meth. When you got an addiction, you do what it takes to feed that addiction. As ridiculous as it might be that Jeremy would climb a power pole to cut a live power line, law enforcement, utility, and recycling companies say it's common. Theft of copper and other recyclable materials, and in particular uh, power lines, has become more and more common. Avista says it happens at least once a month that they are aware of, and Inland Power has similar problems. Well, over the past several years, there's been an increase in uh, theft. Also being impacted by the risky attempt at making some quick cash <laughs> are people like Hap Alborn. They don't call drugs dope for nothing. Hap owns Action Recycling in North Spokane, and he says spotting stolen material has become part of the recycling business. But we're always on the lookout for any type of stolen material. In addition to being illegal, it's dangerous. All you have to do is take one look at Jeremy to see the damage it's caused. He lost his arm. I'm darn lucky to be sitting here with everybody today. A law was passed a couple year, years ago to try to stop people from stealing copper wire. Now, if you bring copper wire into a, a recycling center, and if it's more than over $30, the recycling center has to take your ID and also your address and then mail you a check. But Hap says he says he's seen people get around the law by bringing in three or four people at a time, all selling the same product for under $30 a piece, and that's how they get around it. In Spokane, Tori Brunetti, KXLY4 HD News.